Hi everyone and welcome to a new AI tutorial series in Unreal Engine 4. In this series we're taking a look at shooter games and how to recreate the AI we typically see in a shooter game. Now for the purpose of this tutorial I'm using a third person shooter uh, as a sort of guideline. So I'm using the third person template as a starting point. Now if you've been watching my live streams lately you would have no noticed me working on this in preparation for this series. So, if you want to get a hand on this project right now, you can become a patron and all patrons get access to the full project file that you're about to see right now as a starting block. Higher tier patrons get access to the completed project files when they are ready. Now, just to give you an overview of where we're at as a starting point, if you want to know and see how I get to, long, uh, get to this point, uh, you can follow the live recordings. Um, or you'll see that a lot of the stuff I've covered here is in previous videos as well. So currently I've got a new animation system in place. This is using the Anim Starter Pack that is available for free off the Unreal Engine 4 Marketplace. So if you want this, go over to Marketplace and download it. As I said, it is free. Um, also, I also downloaded the free guns that are on there. So I've got this AR here as a free gun to download. I have programmed my own animation blueprint system um, with a crouch and aim down sights and so forth. And you can access this uh, in through the same animation tutorials I've done previously, or you can also follow along in the live stream archives uh, from a couple of weeks ago. So that's where we're at as a starting point. Now, this animation blueprint works on the player. And it's the exact same animation blueprint that the AI is going to be using as well. As you can see, they're in idle pose at the moment because they're not receiving any instructions. So we're going to get started today. And the first thing we're going to get going is getting this AI just to stand still and shoot at the player. Okay, so not doing anything fancy, not making them hide, not making them run towards you, not chasing you, anything like that. They're just going to turn and shoot at you based on their current location. Okay, so let's get cracking. So here's my enemy blueprint. Nothing in it, it's completely empty. And I've just set them up with a basic animation blueprint with my uh, gun model in its hands. All this is set up prior uh, to starting this video, but you can access instructions how to do this in my previous videos that I've released on the channel. So what we need to do to make this AI work is first of all set up the AI controller. So I'm gonna go right click, blueprint class, and in my all classes search box here, I'm going to search for the AI controller and I'm going to call this one enemy underscore AI and the AI controller is what's going to be pulling the strings of the puppet which is the enemy actor so open up your enemy actor and we now need to associate that AI controller with this actor now if you haven't already got it selected select the enemy self at the top here in the component list to reveal the details panel of the whole entire class. And here you'll see AI controller class says none. It may say something else by default like AI controller or something like that. You want to change that to your enemy AI controller that we just made. Click compile and we're done here. Now this AI controller is going to be using a behavior tree to handle how it decides what to do. Again, full series on how to do behavior trees um, so I'm not going to go into massive detail on how they work and what you do with them, but we will be retreading some stuff here too. So to create a new behavior tree, we're going to go add new, artificial intelligence, behavior tree. And we're going to call this one enemy AI, oh, sorry, not AI, underscore BT for behavior tree. And alongside the behavior tree, we need a blackboard. So go to artificial, artificial intelligence again and go blackboard enemy underscore bb open up your black uh, behavior tree and you want to make sure your blackboard asset has been associated to this tree once you've done that you want to go file save all and close that down okay so we're kind of set up here um, we've got all the various uh, files we'll need what we need to do now is make the AI controller run this behavior tree so open up your AI controller Go to its event graph and on begin play, we're going to come off there and just type in run behavior tree and choose your behavior tree from the list. 
compile and we're done here we can close this now okay so with the behavior tree now associated to the enemy uh, that is all linked up okay so the enemy puppet has the puppet master and the puppet master has its brain it's sort of uh, decision making uh, brain here okay now it still doesn't do anything because we haven't associated any code to it um, but we will be doing that now okay so the first thing we need to do is open up our behavior tree and our behavior tree here um, we're going to um, tell it to go to a sequence uh, so it selects us away and then a sequence and it is in here that we're going to determine its uh, rotation and its shooting so over here in a third person uh, in my example map here I want to make him have what we call focus onto the player so basically what focus means it means that the whole thing will rotate and look at whatever I told it to focus on so we need to make a new task for this because a task for this doesn't exist okay so we make a new task by going up to new task up the top and if you've watched all my other videos you know straight away that I want to rename this task before I get cracking so in my task in my content explorer I'm going to change this to um, focus okay so this focus task is really simple we just need the first of all the event execute AI and we can put in the finish one to make sure we've got it and when we receive the execute we want to tell the AI to look at the player character so over here we're going to type in focus and you want to oh hang on we need to get the controller so from owner controller type in focus there we go so you go you see you set focus and this is telling the controller to control itself to focus on this new focus here and it needs an actor so you're telling it who do you want it to focus on in this, in this case I want to get the player character and then I'm going to go over to my finish execute and tick the box click compile and we're done here so on my sequence here type in focus click save and now he should turn to look at me all the time even when he can't see me okay but we got him turning and looking at us the entire time okay so we got the focus working we now need to get shooting now shooting the way it works on the player character is that there is a shoot but, uh, event which leads to the gun again follow my gun tutorial series to see how I've set up guns see it tells the gun to start or stop shooting and likewise for reloading and anything else I want to do like aiming okay so I need to replicate this sort of behavior on my character on my enemy character sorry so to do that I need to go into my enemy and I need to tell him to when to start shooting and when to stop shooting now on the player character we're using input action now we don't want an input action because the enemy AI it doesn't receive inputs okay from the controller anyway so what I need to do is create custom events and I'm going to tell this custom event and call it sorry uh, shoot let's quit start shooting there we go start shooting um, and we need to tell this start shooting event to access its gun until the gun does actually start shooting as well because if I go to my third person character I'm getting the gun telling the gun to shoot now this current gun reference I got at my begin play and we can do this exact same thing on my enemy as well 
And this is just getting references to the uh, current gun and the animation instance of the actor itself, so the actual character itself. So we want to begin play. So to start the game, the enemy is going to get those references. So first of all, we need to get the animation reference. So drag out your mesh. And from your mesh, you want to get the animation instance. And we're going to cast that to our animation blueprint that I made earlier. And I can store this as a variable by dragging out my blue pin here and clicking promote to variable. And call it anim instance. Okay, now I need to get the gun. So drag your gun child out, the child actor. Get the child actor component. And then we're going to cast that to our gun parent, which in this case I've got just one. So that's going to be its parent. And I'm going to promote that to a variable and call it current gun. Click compile, and we now have those references saved. So when I want to do start shooting, I can drag out my current gun reference and I can now access the start shooting function on my gun. Click compile and we've got start so we might get shot uh, stop in there as well. So I want to do a custom event. Stop shooting. And exactly the same. Get your current gun and tell it to stop shoot. There we are. Okay, we're done there. So, with that done, we need to tell it to start shooting. And again, we need to make a new task for this. So, let's uh, go into our behavior tree and we'll go new task, new BT task blueprint base. And we're going to rename this straight away. Call it shoot. Input a invent receive execute AI. And on here we need to now access the shooting function on our enemy character that we just made here. Okay, so to start shooting. So on my shoot here, I need to get my controlled pawn. Pass that to the enemy, and then from there, start shooting. Compile, and we're done there. To finish it up, we need to finish execute. Tick the success box to make sure it moves on. Compile all your blueprints and let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Oh, I forgot to put the actual shoot task into my sequence. Shoot, there, save. Now you can see he's turning towards me and shooting at my location. Now by default he'll be spot on accurate. We'll be tweaking this down the line to make him less accurate and a bit clumsy when we start adding personality to our AI. But as you can see, even if I'm hiding, it still shoots in my direction. So very basic setup to get the shooting working. Okay. Now, there's something we could be doing here to make it a bit more efficient. Now, the reason why is because in your shoot function, this cast here is happening all the time. So every time it shoots a bullet, this is happening and it starts shooting, it's going to continue shooting until it hits a stop shooting. So what we want to do is tell it, once it hits this task here, to stay on this task until it tells it not to. So, because I don't want this cast to be happening all the time, because these are quite expensive, so we don't want to be doing this all the time. So rather than doing the finish execute, we're just going to delete that, 
compile and just leave it as is and you can see it's shooting still all the time but it's no longer no longer doing that expensive cast and I can shoot back obviously nothing happens we ain't got that far yet and this will do for the first episode so in the first episode, to recap, we managed to set up our basic AI blueprint, our behavior tree, and we got the enemy to look at us and shoot in our direction. Next on the list is we're going to make it shoot only when it sees us. So when I'm hiding behind here, it can't shoot or focus at us. Okay, so only shoots when we're in its, uh, in our, in its vision. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see the rest of this series uh, before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, and you can watch the next episode right now as well as to get access to the starter project files of this project so you can start off exactly where this video is landing. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments you want to leave below, that'd be great. Any questions, please leave them below. And as well, any suggestions you may have as well as what kind of behaviors you would want to see in a shooter enemy. One thing, things we're going to be covering are just not just shooting, but also uh, making it hide behind cover and uh, shooting from cover, flanking, as well as different personalities, so we'll make AI different AI with different um, like courage stats. So ones that are more braver, ones that are more, more stupid. So when you get close to them, they may want to charge you, uh, melee attack you, things like that. So we're going to try and add bit bit by bit more behaviour to our enemy AI. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope I see you next time. Cheers, bye bye.